This is the Nubia Z17 Lite, a phone that was released exactly one year ago. Due to recent price drops, you can get it for less than 170 bucks. I think that the phone brings a lot of value to the table, and it all starts with great specifications. The Snapdragon 653 chipset is running the show, that means you should expect good overall performance out of this phone, despite a budget price. I played quite a few 3D games, and while there were a few skipped frames in some titles, the overall gaming experience is pretty good. For example, the PUBG runs fine on medium graphics, with just minor hiccups. However, the phone gets warm quickly, but the temperature does not rise to uncomfortable levels. I also admire the design of the Nubia Z17 Lite, as it all starts with a great display that has zero bezels on the sides, but huge bars on the top and bottom. That display is very good. It's really nice and sharp, and I had no issue seeing it outdoors, thanks to a decent brightness output. The phone comes in a few different colors, but my favorite is blue, that is painted on top of the unibody metal shell, making the phone look and feel very premium. Also, the buttons are good, and the phone sits comfortably in the hand. Other notable features in the hardware department include nicely backlit capacitive keys, a home button that doubles as a notification LED light, a beefy 16 megapixel selfie shooter, a fast and accurate fingerprint reader, and a dual camera system on the back of the device. Unfortunately, the Nubia Z17 Lite is one of those phones that doesn't have the HESA jack, but at least the sound quality using the supplied adapter is very good. Also, the phone lacks the micro SD card slot, as it ships just with a regular dual SIM card tray. As for the loudspeaker, it produces a high quality and rich audio. Here is an audio sample. In terms of the user interface, this Nubia phone ships with the outdated Android 7.1. To remind you, this is a one-year-old device that did not receive the Android 8 update, well, at least the international model that I have. The UI is very different to the stock Android, and it may take a little bit of time of getting used to. As usual to these heavily customized versions of Android, there are plenty of features and customization options to play with. Well, it's up to you if you're going to use all those extra features, but I'm happy to say that the phone feels fast and snappy all the time. Very good overall performance. As always, make sure to check out my Facebook page for high resolution camera samples, and you'll find all the links down below the video. The overall image quality is very good, especially if you consider the fact that I took most of the shots on a dark and cloudy day. If you take pictures on a nice and sunny day, you should expect to get excellent results with nice colors and great dynamic range. Very impressive performance out of a budget device. Night image quality is, well, mediocre to say the least, there is a lot of noise and grain in the pictures. There is also a portrait mode which may not be perfect, but you can definitely take some nice Instagram shots with a nicely blurred background. Selfies look okay, but I expected a bit sharper images out of that 16 megapixel sensor. Well, that's because most of the pictures were not perfectly in focus due to my own fault perhaps? The 4K video quality is very good as the footage comes out nice and the continuous autofocus feature works fine. 1080p selfie video quality is pretty nice too. Connectivity department is where the Nubia Z17 Lite shines, as all the options I've tested work just fine. Also, there are quite a few sensors on board, including the gyroscope, that is necessary for the 360 content consumption. Just before we start talking about the battery life, I wanted to show you guys a very useful AnyTransfer Cloud app that is made by iMobi and I wanted to say thanks for sponsoring this video. With AnyTransfer Cloud, you can access all your files of multiple cloud drives from one place and meet all your data management needs. 
In other words, you can manage all clouds in one place, transfer files across cloud drives, and share files and folders. Also, Google 2 and Fay assures that no one but you can access your cloud content. In addition, secure file transfer is protected by 256-bit SSL encryption. If you guys want to check the service out, you can sign up using the links in the video description down below and get a free premier plan and extra exclusive registration gift. Make sure to use the registration links if you're interested and you'll find all the information in the video description down below. Even though the battery life is always subjective, I try to squeeze out as much as possible out of this phone. My record screen on time was almost 10 hours, but that doesn't mean you'll get the same result all the time. On average, you should expect to get about 7 hours of SOT, depending on how you use the phone, which is still a very good result. As for charging, it takes about 1.5 hours to fully charge the phone with the stock charger. The Nubia Z17 Lite is a solid and one of the best phones for the price, but it also has a few cons you need to know. The phone ships with a display that has no bezels on the sides but huge bars on the top and bottom. Also, the device lacks the headset jack, there is no microSD card slot, and Nubia UI is based on Android 7. On the other hand, the phone has a lot of pros like a premium metal design, great display, very good overall performance, great cameras, solid audio quality, and a pretty good battery life. At the end of the day, the phone has some flaws to consider, but it's obvious that pros easily outweigh the cons, and therefore, I can easily recommend the Nubia Z17 Lite as one of the best smartphones you can buy, under $170 US. But what do you guys think about the Nubia Z17 Lite? Would you buy this phone or would you choose another device? As always, use the comment section down below, like the video if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, it was Lionus, thank you for watching and see you soon.